talk to them, look in their face. Look in the eyes. Whoever looks away, look, still look in the eyes. Whoever looks away first, stay in the house. You have a pause. <laughs> Simple as that. Right? So um, that's, um, I got started as an industry because uh, I used to work at the Grove. I used to work at the Grove for security and, um, and the ballet park. Right? And something that I realized is that I used to work with, uh, uh, the, only, the only reason why I got, I got that job is because of my dad. Right? Like we all know, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. Right? So it was my dad, he introduced me to, um, to one of his friends. And then he just took me with the job. So I started working, I started working with, with that guy um, for security ballet, the whole group. And I realized that he has two kids working there too. And I realized they were just hanging out, messing around. I was actually busting my butt off, right? Excuse my language, but I was actually doing work. And I seen, hey, man, I'm, we're getting paid the same amount of money, but I'm doing, more, I'm doing your work. And I'm like, it's not fair, right? And then he would just come in and tell me what to do, the boss, right? Oh, yeah, go do that, go do that. Go, go, go get that security and tell me, go. I'm like, Go tell yourself, right? I, obviously, I couldn't say that. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't say that, but I realized that. And I'm like, you know what? I'm worth more than that, right? I'm not worth you telling me what to do. Oh, right? So I realized that there's more value in here than anywhere else. People say it's a pyramid scheme, a scam, right? They say that a lot. You're the pyramid scheme. You're the scam. People, people, that, people they tell me that. I just tell them straight up. Straight up. And I tell them why. I show them why. I don't just tell them and just bash on them. Are you educate them. Show them why. Why, why, why is it that, you know what, because the owner, think about those. See, my dad used to always tell me, I, I know I'm being a little off topic, so I apologize, you know what I'm saying? So my, my dad used to, in the beginning, he, 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 I, I showed him this, and he was like, dude, it's a scam. Son, I never, I never, I never, like, I never raised you to scam people. I'm like, dad, really? You telling me that? I didn't, I didn't believe it was coming up. And he was telling me this, stuff. I was like, wow, it's crazy how, how it, 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 everybody is programmed to think the only way to become successful is going to high school, then college, then graduating with a high paying secure job, right? Secure, nothing secure, right? So I realized, so my dad, he's, he's a manager for Ralph, right? Then he has assistant managers, then he has employees, and then the owner. I tell him, Dad, is the owner over there? No. Why? Because you're the one opening every day at 4 in the morning. I told him, will the employees ever make more money than the owners? No. All right? How about assistant managers? No. What about you? I know you don't because you live with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> it's very interesting that, that he's never there, but he's making all the money. Right? Don't, don't you do something weird, and he just stays quiet. Right? So guys, that, that's my story. I see more value here than anything else. So thank you. So uh, what's going on, everybody? My name is uh, Ru Ruben Ponce. I have to say Ponce because JC's here. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I say Ponce, I guess. <laughs> Ponce. So uh, yeah, guys, I mean, I'm 27 years old. I'm from Torrance, California. I've been in the industry now for a year and a half. Um, and I come from just a very, you know, I, I did, when, coming out of high school, I went to college route. I went to college. I got a degree in criminal justice. I uh, got an AS degree. Um, and then what I found was after graduating with that AS degree, I couldn't get a job because no, they weren't hiring. California went through what's called a, a hiring freeze. Uh, my initial goal was to be a police officer. I tried for two years, wasn't happening. Hiring freeze, California was broke. Even though I had a degree and it just wasn't happening, right? So then I decided, I said, okay, well, I need to go get a job because I've been waiting for two years, nothing's happening. So I need to just go get you know, a full-time job and start making some money. So I did that for about the next like four years. And um, what I found, man, was that if you're not doing something that you really love, something that you're actually passionate about, it doesn't matter how much money you make. Because I was making decent money at the job that I had. But like I said, if you're getting up in the morning and you don't like where you're going, you don't like the traffic, you don't, you know, you just get no self-satisfaction at the end of the day, no matter how much money you make, it's definitely not worth it, guys. You have to do something where you wake up in the morning and you're proud of what you're doing. You, you, you're, you enjoy waking up the next day, right? Because can we all agree that if you have a job, most of your time is spent at your job. You're spent about 10 hours a day, right? Yeah. So that means most of the time you're working. You're, 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 you're at your job more than with your friends, with your family, more than anything else. So if you're not happy doing that, I can promise you, from my you know, personal experience, you're not going to be happy no matter what. You know, so... When I, when I started thinking about, okay, well, can I really 